Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Shire and this is Conference Championship Week for Season Number 4 of Hopefully 60 in our East Carolina University Dynasty. So as you can see, the matchups for the Conference Championships, we ended up going to play Tulane again uh, for the Conference Championship. Got some pretty good, uh, pretty good matchups there. Florida and Texas A&M, UCLA, Oregon, Virginia Tech, Florida State, uh, Nebraska, Ohio State. So uh, we're going to end up playing seven and five Tulane. We ended up one eleven and one. Only loss in the conference was that sim game against SMU. So wish we could have taken that back. But we're going to play host to Tulane, and uh, we are going to be without our man Mark Ginn. From Gin and Juice, Mark Gin and Goose. Uh, but as you can see, the stats here for the season, pretty good at stopping the run this year. Uh, Corey Haas, 86 overall. Chad ended up being a 91. Now he had those eight touchdowns last uh, last game against Cincinnati. So uh, Corey Hollis, now one of the leading receivers in program history as well. I uh, was really looking to help Mark try to uh, break some records too, but ended up getting hurt, broke his ribs, 10 weeks. So, yeah, but we do have Nick Pace uh, and Jose Mason, so uh, hopefully can really help out and uh, take our team to the AAC uh, championship. And it uh, looked like we were probably going to be playing Nebraska in uh, the Fiesta Bowl if they went out. But we'll see what happens as well. I'm going to go ahead, kick it to the guys in the booth, and I'll be back here shortly. See ya. situated on Tar River in North Carolina is the setting for this college football game. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. So starting out, Tulane gets the ball. Oh, Simmons almost got the pal there. Oh, my goodness. And then their tight end, Swanson, ends up getting the ball. And then what are they gonna, they're going to show this. Oh, Devin Powell. Broke the record. Oh, man, whose record is that? I'm not sure whose record that is. I don't know too much about Tulane. I do know uh, they've they've been uh, on the come up here in the past uh, couple years, so they were really good this season, uh, you know, in real life. So uh, I always always seem to mention that whenever I play Tulane. I always seem to play Tulane, Temple, and Tulsa all at the end, and then Clem or, uh, Cincinnati, not Clemson. But there we go. Fudge. Big Fudge is in trouble. Big fudge in trouble, and they try to go to him. He dropped the ball. He got 16 touchdowns on the year. Big fudge doing big things. All right, over a thousand yards. Man, Simmons just keeps on getting off the line like crazy right there. Uh, Sherman Betty, Batty, Betty Betty, getting, getting a few, a few yards. Come on, come on. This was distracting me. How many, how many touchdowns is he gonna break here? Come on now, George Scott. Not the wrestling promoter. <laughs> uh, Powell gets his pass broken up there. We really need to get some more interceptions, man. We got that in a big time. Okay, there we go. I'll take that. Big time stop by McGill. We got McGill, Mike Myers, Simmons. We just got a, a fierce defensive line. Uh, we got Leon Jones there in the middle as well uh, at linebacker. So we've only gotten one interception, It's I feel like, in the past, you know, couple games. So uh, they're up ahead, though, three to nothing right now. But Chad, too bad, says I'm not going to allow that 17-yard rush. He says I'm going to give my guys a fighting chance here. He keeps on scrambling. We ended up getting out big time reception. Corey Hollis, 10-yard reception. He's already got 14 on the game today. And then we hand it off to our man Nick Pace, just going ahead, 
getting through those blocks. 12-yard touchdown run. He's finally getting some some reps here. I'm sure he likes that. The man from Ohio. We scouted him pretty highly. We scouted him pretty highly. I'm not going to lie. And then Chad, too bad. Got some blockers here. Oh, slide, man. <laughs> oh, my goodness. 20, 21-yard reception. We've already talked about uh, Chad's injuries in the past. Uh, we've had to put Troy Smith in the game a few times, so can't be taking many hits like that. Looked like he almost fumbled a little bit there, too. So get it out to Big Zay. Big play, Zay. 22-yard reception by Zay Jones. That's going to end the first quarter. We are up 7-3. to three. Looking pretty good for us. We're making some drives. We're getting some stops. Um, but, man, they're putting a lot of pressure on us today. They, I think they figured us out. We only played them about three weeks ago, so... They kind of remember what happened. We put a whooping up on them. Oh, we were able to get out of there. Come on. Get it, Dowdell. Darren Dowdell, huge 29-yard reception. Darren Dowdell has been really solid for us this year. As you can see, just going out on that little fly route, just, hey, I'm here. It's me. Probably could have got a touchdown if I would have seen him a little bit quicker. But, hey, you know, at least it's not an interception. Sometimes that does happen here. We're just going to go ahead, hand it off to Nick Pace again. Three-yard touchdown run. He's loving it, man. He's just plugging away in again spot there. Uh, that goal line stance there. As you can oh, Florida's leading. No, now they're getting beat by Texas A&M. And then Chad, too bad, said, I don't care. I'm going to put the hit stick on you. And then I'm going to try to rush a little bit more, but you guys are going to pull me down. 12-yard rush. We're looking pretty good. They were able to score, but we're still up by four, 14 to 10. We got control of the ball. We're getting these little runs here. Got a 5.9 average by pace. Now we're putting in the other man now, Jose Mason, our three-headed monster. Don't really see Jose as much as we'd like to. Normally try to put in Nick Pace. Um, you know, he's he's got a couple uh, overalls better. But now Nick Pace, three touchdown runs, making up for lost time. Now we're up 21-10. to 10. They get the ball back. We're trying to get the quarterback. Come on, Powell's a little bit too shifty now. Come on now. Come on now. Oh, 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 Mike Myers. He got him. Big time, Mike. We haven't, we haven't really called his name too much. And then there we go, Simmons. We haven't really called Mike Myers' name too much since he had that four-sack uh, game a couple couple games ago. And then there we go. We're just trading sacks. This is just the sack bowl. I think that's what I'm think that's what I'm gonna call it. I'm just gonna call it the sack <laughs> the sack championship instead. Man, just so many sacks here and there, here and there, here and there, here and there. But we're gonna go into halftime. We're up by 11. We're feeling pretty good. Woods feels good about it. We're getting blockers. Nick Pace is just shifting people away come on oh, man 31 yard 31 yard run by nick pace he's trying he's showing he's wanting to fight here he's showing he's wanting to fight he's got that ohio heart is that a thing i don't know people make fun of ohio a lot but i'll give it to him he's fighting here he's he's working really good for us and now here we go another reception big plays a 17 reception he's got three for 50 Looking pretty good. Come on, Chad. You got to get over. You got to get over that, man. We got to get some more yards on you. But this defense has been playing us pretty solid. I do feel like Temple to Lane. Uh, Tulsa didn't play us too too heavily. But we had some pretty good games uh, towards the end of the year. I mean, we scored a lot. But uh, they got a couple, they got a couple uh, scores on us as well, too. But we're just trying to get into that fiesta bowl still we're number eight in the nation come on nick pace get four. Oh, look at that get number four big man in four yard touchdown run should have four on the day here today he's coming after mark gins <laughs> touchdown record now look at this just stuffs absolutely stuffs two defenders Whew. look at that glad to have you on the team big man they're able to score but there's not that much time left i mean we're we're deep into the third quarter. That's going to make the Corey Hollis highlight. I really want to try to make one of those. I really want to try to make one of those. We put the other big man in, Jose Mason. Oh, Jose, you can't be doing that now. He puts the ball on the ground. First turnover of the game 
we're only up by 11 right now so we can't be uh, we can't be taking losses like that right now they end up getting the ball back after that big time play oh there we go Smith with the INT that's exactly what we needed we traded sacks we traded interceptions for interceptions here and then this is just gonna do it final touchdown by pace uh, that'll do it for me right now I'll let this roll real quick and this one's all but wrapped up with the final score, East Carolina, 49, Tulane, 17. As we take a look at the highlights, Kirk, how would you summarize the action of this one? The mismatch that was shaping up to be turned out to be a reality. There's just too big a gap in talent today on this field. East Carolina didn't disappoint anybody who said they were a big favorite here. They did exactly what we thought they would do, and that's put up an impressive win. For the Pirates, they just keep winning in what has been a great year for them. And for the Green Wave, they go to 7-6 and six on what has been an average season. So there you have it. We win the AAC. The coach hoisting up the trophy. Big time game. 312 yards by Chad Concepcion. One touchdown uh, with that today. Looking looking pretty good. And then Nick Pace, six rushing touchdowns. Are you crazy? What? 126 yards. Uh, Chad, too bad. Looking pretty good as well. I'll let this go. Uh, so you guys can see the stats uh, if you made it this far into the video. Thank you guys for checking it out I appreciate you guys watching uh, Also going to be throwing up some other videos check out the other uh, Videos that we've had hopefully <laughs> you didn't see this uh, Four seasons in and then you know have to go back and watch season one and everything, but uh, Yeah, I'll leave this up and thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the bowl game. Have a good one